the controversy surrounding Hunter Biden involving his father, then Vice President Joe Biden, in business meetings by putting him on speakerphone. Even Hunter's former business partner, Devin Archer, considers this a misuse of soft power. Archer's testimony suggests Joe Biden's awareness and involvement in his son's business dealings, signaling power and access through various interactions. Archer describes Joe Biden as a brand used to send signals of influence. These interactions resulted in millions of dollars flowing into the Biden family. Archer's testimony implies that the significance of these interactions, indicating access and influence, lies not in their content but in their occurrence, as he also explains the term, signal, in a corrupt context, clarifying its importance. The narrative includes an urgent email from a Burisma executive requesting influence to counter investigations, shedding light on a broader strategy. Archer details the threat posed by Ukrainian Prosecutor General Viktor Shokin to Burisma, and how Joe Biden's intervention led to Shokin's firing and Burisma's relief from scrutiny. Archer concludes that Hunter's value to corrupt Ukrainian energy company Burisma, paying him and Hunter $83,000 a month, was his access to his father, the VP. Archer's testimony reveals that Hunter was asked by Ukrainians to involve his powerful father in communications, supporting the notion that Hunter's presence on the board was pivotal for Burisma's survival. Joe Biden's intervention after a Dubai speakerphone call, where he threatened to withhold $1 billion in U.S. aid, led to Shokin's removal and Burisma's exoneration, underscoring the influence of the Biden family.